I'm Evil Taz and welcome back. So, I did start playing Horizon Forbidden West when it first came out, and as you can see in the bottom right there, I played for 17 hours, and I'm about 41% through the game, or the main story progress, I guess. But, I kind of lost interest, I guess, at the time. I, I'm not sure what came out at the same time, and my... my Attention got distracted and I stopped playing and I really want to get back into it because I did like the Original game so much that I 100% completed it This one, I mean the dialogue had me thrown off a little bit, but still interested in playing this game and still getting through it, so The only difference is when I played this the first time I was recording in 1080p now I'm recording in 4k so hope you enjoy this and uh, join me on this journey. All right, so we're not going to continue. We are going to create a new game. Play on normal. I could go on story just to get through the story, but like playing my first playthrough um, in normal mode. Markers and icons on screen to assist your journey. Minimal HUD. You know what? We'll go guided just so that it helps kind of get to where we need to be. Usually I can figure it out, but if it becomes too obvious, I'll turn it off. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead... ...it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. <laughs> I'm always left alone.
This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <gasps> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. All right. Fast travel pack. Got the medicinal berries. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Grab the stuff, and we can't run and grab. It's a little annoying, but is there a oh, there is a scan. There we go. We go up and around. I'm sure, there'll be plenty of time to gather as we're playing along. But tap up the heel. There we go. Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. I will. Yeah, good idea. But we got our bat scan. Just so we can scout the area. Anything of important? Game feels really good. It feels, it looks really good in 4K. I actually took some time while I hadn't been playing on PlayStation to configure my monitor and such. Uh, turned off HDR because I think it was washing out a lot of the colors on my screen. And recording in HDR doesn't really work that good. But anyway, I don't think I hit that banner on the, the beginning, but I'll throw it up now, but I won't mention it.
and read. <coughs> oh, this stuff spreads fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. So it gives us multiple what ways down. I remember this. The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's um, it's hard to explain. Out of the way. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. So close to me all the time, like. Your, uh, traveling light these days. Need some room. Yeah, I um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. Are you gonna jump? Go for a swim? Fastest way down. Perfect dive. Let me go down there and grab that. Why? Our breath going down while we're down here. Breathe indefinitely. Oh, it pauses. All right, it's good to know. You find anything good down there? A few supplies. Go up, up, up. Wow. All right. Let's uh, keep going because I'll spend forever just looking around. The game feels really good, really smooth. Of course, you know, I did throw the banner up and I didn't mention it, but I really should. I uh, would really appreciate the sub if you, you know, could take the two seconds to hit that button. It would really mean a lot and help the channel out a huge ton. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Okay, so X is to come back up. That circle like I was pressing. Circle makes you kind of sprint or dodge. You might get a tutorial here on... Health. Possibly. These birds are still there. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. So, this is a, an RPG game. A lot of gathering and stuff like that. A lot of exploring. And usually the maps are pretty open. And free to explore. There's always an objective, just like that marker's pointing us over there. Not that intrusive, but at least it tells us where we need to go. Get tired of gathering all this stuff. I can quickly backtrack and get over there. Yeah, the game's been out for a while. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. Not take all those arrows? Better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. Hey, all reach right. for the stars. Now to craft some arrows. No one to hold the wheel. Select. Hold. X. All right. Should have read to see how many arrows it makes 
the craft. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. That did it. You know, one thing I've got to say, the haptic feedback on the PlayStation controller is really good. But I actually feel that the the control, the, well, the vibration module on the Xbox controllers is stronger. I mean, you feel it on the PlayStation, but not as strong. That makes sense. You have a PlayStation and an Xbox, you know what I mean. Transmission the uh, message I found didn't say. Grab some of this wood. Might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Not getting through that way. No, but I heard a beeping noise. Hey, where is this noise? It's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Then people will get sick too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. It went quiet. Let's have a look over here real quick. Oh, noob zone. The bushes aren't tall enough for us to hide, so we're not going to have any fights. Usually when you have fights in this game, you have the option of stealthing and such. Wait, do we have to go find an entrance? Looking around, really, right now, the the foliage is really good, very dense. I saw all the shrubs and stuff that I'm referring to. Oh wait, what? We should find another way. He can get up there, but I can't. All right, game. All right, I see what you're doing. Letting him explore, but he won't grab me loot. Okay, so the slide does lead into... Oh, we got some stealth here. Scan the machine before we make our move. 
and the machine. Hold R3. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Use left and right to scroll through the yeah. machine's components. Right. I'm ready. I'm going to sneak up on it and stab it in the butt. That's what I'm going to do. It was a way of seeing its path. Don't know if it's told us that yet. Another one's coming. Come on over here, check out your buddy. Check out where he goes. Gonna move in a, just a second. Here we go. Right now. So I actually like playing. Know all that. It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey. This game in stealth, but I know that there's sections of it where you can't play in stealth. So I know that so I'm gonna balance it between stealth. And offense. Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. Grab all the stuff because it's medicine and it. Arrows. Which we haven't used any yet. Good. Someone shot this machine too. Another ladder. I need to shoot off the lock. You hear like random beeping? Maybe it's highlighting us to where we need to be. I gotta adjust my volumes and such. reload my arrows. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. You said you got a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. All right, we're up top in that area, which not let me get up to, but search the ancient ruins for Gaia backup. I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? I guess they want us to check in with them. Hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. All right, we're waiting. Back. Okay. I guess they weren't on oh. great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Something goes over here. There was. There we go. Please 
That onion, like an onion, right? The icon, the first one. I guess it doesn't. Should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Okay, keep pushing forward while gathering all the stuff. Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp wiped out. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. We should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Uh. There are combos and such that you can do. I don't remember them. <laughs> um, we'll figure it out and the game will tell us as well. This is a crafting area, which I don't think we've unlocked anything like that yet. So, but I think when I did buy the game, I did buy the deluxe edition. Usually if it's a game that I'm anticipating, I will buy the deluxe version, but um, yeah, this is a game that I wanted to really play, and I started, as you saw, but I just didn't carry on with it. So we have a DL. Oh my god, we have a DLC coming out very soon for this, and I will play this first, and then I'll get the DLC. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. Hey, we actually looked around before we were supposed to, I guess. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Okay, an improved version of the Delver's prototype tool. That can latch onto and pull objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. Okay, I got it. Craft this. So one of the things I think that kind of put me off the game when I played it the first time was the game gives you so much loot and there. Uh, so much dialogue. Caster. And it now got tested on the debris. a little too much. I didn't really know what I wanted to get and what I wanted to use and how I wanted to play. And But now I'm kind of chilling. I don't have much going on. I'm playing Last Epoch. Uh, my videos are going up. Playing that slowly. Uh, yeah. The Polecaster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a graded pattern. Hold L2 and 
Tap. Hold L2 or release L2 or tap triangle to stow the podcast. Try that again. Okay, so it only shows up when you can use it. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Access point, the ladder right there. Huh. What's this thing for? Oh, I might be able to get up there. What's this? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plan. Hey, we're reaching for the stars. Jump and tap X again. So awesome. Wow, that works. That pole caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. That's right. I'm. I think I'm supposed to scan these things. But because I've done it already, it might not let me do it again. Maybe they just like thinking too much into it. Get that one. Wow, that was cool. I'm getting flashbacks of Charted. Okay, so the little lights kind of guide us. Way we need to go. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Hey, what's going on here? Because I want to get that loot. I'm stuck. What? Okay, so it won't let me get it from there. I shoot it down, maybe. All right, one more time gonna waste a lot of time on this I need a green chest ah screw it sapiens us we have always pushed the boundary as explorers pioneers trailblazers 
And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is... Data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh... Well, yes. Sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity... it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Like, how does she know exactly where she's going anyway? I still can't believe the old ones can fly. They were capable of a lot of things. Is what they're about? It sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there, among the stars. Just looking around, because this is optional way. This the way... no, that's not the way we came in. Drop down, but... Thinking that I would have to just come back don't see anything worthwhile down there. All right. Oh, 
DPS is kind of pushing me all over the place. Jeez. The wilds have really grown over this place. Damn straight. Well, it looks like an onion, right? The first icon. Anyway, I think when I played the game the first time, I kind of overused certain things and didn't quite to help here. understand how everything worked. Okay, we gotta that thing. How do I get that thing out again? Um... Okay, so the R buttons are melee. L2 pulls that thing out. How do I get my grappling hook? L... Who does this? L1 does this. Go to the inventory. And equip it from there. My focus could find something I've missed. Oh, I've got to scan it first. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. Hold L2 and tap triangle. Yeah, okay, gotta remember that. Hold L2 and tap triangle. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. Here we got this poisonous stuff that hurts us. What? What is that? It might have been what killed those awesome. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. <coughs> oh, we're taking damage. I'm not even standing in it. Up here. Those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan. Didn't realize it could see us there. But it would have seen us there. Mine down too. Is there another one? There isn't. Grab all the stuff. Even the one that he killed have loot on it as well. Wow, he got blue. Some weird bone thing. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle.
get in here. The other one go. Okay, he'll pass by. Maybe he won't sneak up on him. Get in the bush just in case. walked right in front of him. He's on alert as we killed his buddy. He passed right by us here. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Hey, all the loots. Yeah, that's one thing I hate about playing PlayStation games. Well, I don't know if you can do it on anything else, really. You can't reset your trophies or your progress. So, because I'm playing this... Second time on the same system. Um, it won't let me re-get everything I've already gotten. Like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osiram didn't have a chance to use it. Your hey, health potions take time to drink, but refill your health instantly. Overheal. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. Oh my god, I didn't know what that was. Yeah, that hurt. Stop up with a little thing. Okay, so those little balloon things are traps. Get the crap out of me. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. to craft a trap. Hold down to open your hunter's bit. Super trap that explodes on contact when got
That will create a trap right here, though. I, I don't want. Crap right here. There. Trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. And I crafted a trap and it didn't craft. Leave us alone so I can craft this thing again. Let's see what he does. I got too impatient. So I crafted traps. Craft traps like this, but you don't plant them. Because there's lots of heels over here. He goes around a weird path. Not gonna wait to put the trap down, but attack him in just a sec. Now, We're clear. it doesn't mean that because you've got a silent kill that you've killed something, right? Um, they can actually take more damage to kill, so. Might be good to prime them first with the trap. Are they all like this? They all have their secrets, but every place is different. Maybe this is how I would have got that chest earlier. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. Let me... Hmm. Oh, we can Stay collect the data points. ...that Farzina's traded with Zero Dawn. That doesn't explain how they got a backup. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Oh. Looks 
Looks like we've got to climb up. Got down just in case we fall. Some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the. Bonzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Prawl. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's. More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this? Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Thoral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Okay. 